All right, so let's create a landing page using ConvertKit. All right, so when you sign up to ConvertKit, you can go to grow landing pages and then create new. So I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, in ConvertKit under grow is landing pages. And then from here you go to create new. And then from here you create a landing page. Okay, so if you're thinking, oh my gosh, what is a landing page? What's happening? Okay. So if you want to start an email list, if you want to start growing your email list, I suggest you sign up to ConvertKit. They offer a free tier so you can get to know how to use ConvertKit. But to really get the most out of ConvertKit, you should sign up to it and start growing your email list with these landing pages. So before all this, you do need to have some incentive to give to your audience. Now the easiest is a free ebook or a workbook or a planner. So I'll just use a planner that I already have in Canva. So I have this workbook for my freelance audience, but I'll just use this and download this as and download this as a PDF standard. So I'll just have that there in queue. Okay, so once you've created that incentive, in ConvertKit, you can choose your template. So you can customize it, but find one that is similar to your brand and what you like. The one that really stood out for me is this one right here. So I'm going to just preview it quickly to see what it looks like. I don't know, I just like it. I don't know if you can add any things in the bottom. So let's just go back and see if maybe there's one that's a little bit. This one's also quite nice too. I actually like this one too. So let's preview that one. Okay, not bad. You can add an extra call to action here and then you can add a bit more information here. I like that. I don't like the font here. So we'll see if we can change that. We can have some lifestyle images and then the main incentive in the middle. So let's try that. We're gonna choose this one. So we have the heading in that font, which I actually don't like. So. So I'm going to pick something which is not a lot here, but I'm just going to pick just something simple so people can read. So with this, I need an image of what I have. So I need to open up my PDF and I need to take a screenshot of this. Hopefully this can fit in here. So let's just figure that out. So we're going to replace it I'm going to drop it in and see what happens. Perfect. It has most of the stuff. I can probably edit it here if I needed to. So it has the right information. So something like that. Good. Now with these images, if you have stock photos, go ahead and change them so they fit your brand. So I'm just going to leave these here for now and just go through the options. Again, this is not the color that I have. So I do know my brand color for this one that I used in the workbook. So I'm going to match it. So that's the color there. And then I'm going to just put my call to action here. Grab your free workbook. Can't start gaining something like that. Let's see if we can make it larger. I want people to see it big as possible. And then here I can put what it is. It's and then I can put my information of what I want to say about it. Grab this free, let's just say 15 page workbook figure workbook today in this guide you'll and then let's see if I can do like a bullet list it's right there you'll figure out your value prop proposition position figure out your value proposition set up your bio for more leads know the exact places to find clients and more so something like that i can break it down like this so that they have the right information because i want to entice them here you want to add something with the word me sign me up instead of saying get your for you ebook get your it's more personal when you have the word me so just changing all your yours to me, especially in the button copy. So sign me up like that. And then they can just have their email address like that. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna preview it to see what it looks like. Perfect, on a page, it's gonna look like this. So it's very simple to create a landing page, but what's the next step? Let's go to settings, because now that we've created the page, there is no incentive to give anyone. You can change this success message. I don't typically, you can either, if you have a separate page on your blog that uh, tells them, okay, while you wait, here is a, a class that you can sign up to that's more mostly a tripwire. So I do have a tripwire, but I'm not going to add this to this, but I would redirect everyone after they sign up to go to that page that is a timed page 
or a tripwire. Here's the incentive, and this is where you need to add your freebie. So I'm gonna choose the file, that's a thousand prospect, which is right here. And then I can just send the incentive email. I can edit the email. I can put here, I like to put here, get your free book client workbook. Now, a lot of people are probably signing up to a lot of free things, so you want to be explicit and exact and tell people exactly what they're getting. Just put my name, okay? You can also probably change, yeah, the button copy for your brand, which for this incentive, we are doing this color. So I can do something like that just to make it on brand. Okay, so very easy, very simple. Make sure to save all of that. Once we have everything that we want and the settings are all taken care of, we have the incentive, we have what it says inside, all of that great stuff. What you can do is embed this into your WordPress blog, but that's something that you need to do yourself. Follow the steps, get your API key, which is easy. You just click on where it says to get it, and then you can start adding it to your blog post and to your own pages. But for now, we're just gonna grab this link, and this is a link that you can use to share this page on social media, at least. So if I just go to a new page, this is what it looks like. So you can definitely use your link that ConvertKit created for you so that you can populate it for people on social media to grow your email list. So you can create a pin, drop this link, people can go to and sign up right away, right? Same thing with going on Facebook and all that. So this is just an easier way to get those landing pages out so people can sign up to your free incentives. That's how you create a landing page with ConvertKit by customizing it for your brand, adding the images, and what to say the copy is very important so that people can sign up. Okay, so hopefully that helped you. Uh, check the link below for my ConvertKit link so you can sign up to ConvertKit for free and start using it today. And as always, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.